everybody, this is Julin and my grandma Janet. Hi. So where are we, grandma? Arizona. Arizona, here we come. I know, it's my grandma's first time in Arizona and the rain was pouring this morning and it actually just stopped. Um, I'm kind of under the weather. My grandma has something going on too, but we're here and we wanted to do a come with me. Why? Because we're in Arizona. It's my grandma's first time in Arizona and I just love doing come with me videos with her. So we're here at a big nursery and I'm really excited because I've never been to this one before. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. If you guys enjoy these type of videos. Let us know down in the comments below and what was your favorite part of this location. So here is the entryway and right away um, there is so much going on and I kind of want to take you maybe from left to right. Uh, Grandma, what do you think so far? So right here in the front, Grandma, is Desert Roses and uh, they give nice blooms and actually I have a baby one in my collection and I'm kind of interested to see prices here. So this one is $30 which is fairly reasonable for how big it is here and then this one goes for $40 and then this one here goes for $30. So I guess the Crimson Star is a little bit more expensive because of its shape. These are fairly different from the original type of that I have and as you see grandma do you see the beautiful blooms here so desert roses gives off nice blooms I see a lot going on but grandma let's go from left to right before it gets really ridiculous yeah. with the rain and then I won't be able to film outside so right away we see a bunch of different things here I see some elephants bush and let's see here eight dollars for this guy here $20 for this This euphorbia is priced for 15 look at the little Cute leaves and look at these cute little blooms on here. How cute is that? Grandma's checking out the scene here These are elephants bush and we're gonna walk really quickly here something like this is $30 and then we go for the bigger guys here two gallon goes for 35 that's so stunning we got different guys here so 35 for these big guys here fairly reasonable grandma's not loving the rain she got her arms crossed oh, okay grandma so this guy right here is the same guy that we have um, in our yard we're gonna be doing a big propagation video and this one is $17 this one right here grandma and this is priced for 15 yeah, that's why there's probably that red tips I'm thinking, Grandma. That, that's where the word fire comes from. So all these babies are priced for $35, which I think is fairly reasonable for up the amount that you get. And you could easily propagate it and make more babies, including this guy. Look at this, Grandma. How stunning is, is this guy? $35. And then we get into the agaves here, the artichoke agaves priced for $40 and then we got more different ones here as the rain starts coming down here $30 for these guys here's a variegated baby for $30 $30 look at how cool this is grandma that's a cute one this one right here this one is $30 and this is a Pontia a baby Rita I love how it's variegated. Like, check out that variegation. As this guy just poked me in the thigh as I went in to check the price out. Look at this one, how it grows on the big stump. Yes. And you know what, Grandma? I think I actually have this. No. I have Is a variation. The one that we, we planted? Similar. Like, yes. Yeah. But that one has little white fuzzies. These have yellow fuzzies. Oh, I think. <laughs> Very similar. All right, Grandma, here's the totem pole cactus. That you thought that looks like pickles yeah so now we know grandma we must not water cuttings <laughs> there's an incident with yeah. one of the cuttings the biggest I one it. i had <laughs> grandma uh killed half of the tallest cutting by putting water in. I by helping you out watering it i know I was doing good, but I wasn't. yes so we learned that you cannot water cuttings Ooh. unless it is rooted up and then we can give it a water 
All right, so here we go, walking in to this section out of the rain here. So we got the bonsais here, $80 for this guy. One day I'll get a nice bonsai when I'm like in my, when, I, when I'm my grandma's but age, I'll get a bonsai. Do it first properly before huh? purchasing it. Right. Yeah. We're in the covered section, grandma. Let's take a look at these baby desert roses, price for $10. So mine's kind of look like this. I have a small mm -hmm. desert rose. This guy is so interesting. This one is priced for 15. I love it. Okay, I'm getting fairly excited now, Grandma. Mm. Look at this. What is this? A baby Madagascar palm. Oh my goodness. Look at how small and cute that is. Now these things get really big now, Grandma. Yeah. I'll point them out to you yeah, if we okay. come across. And I think this is a little baby um uh oh grandma <laughs> yes so that is um uh, uh i think i believe a golden potos grandma so here is the crown of thorns a baby one and colanchos here yes let's move along here do you see anything Oh, here's those planters from that same... Everywhere I've gone in Arizona, Grandma, they have these planters. It's from a local artist. Some bromeliads. These are ornamental peppers. So they're just for looks. Yeah. They really give out fall vibes. This looks interesting. So here we are. So Grandma, you know that little guy I showed you? That's him grown up. The Madagascar palm. I've never seen such a baby one. That's why I pointed out. And then we have some $70 agaves here. It's so amazing how expensive things can get. Yeah, you could actually buy that and pull it apart and make multiple babies. Oh, look at this cat. Oh, a cat. How cute is that? Oh, how cute. Do you want to come say hi? Oh my gosh, Grandma. Look, you have a stubby tail. Oh my God. How cute are you? It's like, oh, attention. <laughs> now I'm getting distracted by his cute tail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, how cute. <laughs> Grandma is feeding a bunch of kittens that my grandpa was feeding when he was alive and he's been doing that since forever, wherever we lived. So grandma's feeding a bunch of kittens back home on the big island. Now that my now that she's up here, we got my uncle then feeding the kittens but they're taking care of good up. Yeah. And grandma, so this kinda looks similar to the uh, these uh, cactus. It's like a chalky. I think I might have something like that. This is a dragon fruit. And it's so interesting because it almost looks like Tanya's night blooming cactus. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? I'm getting distracted by the nursery kitty here. All right, so Grandma, what were you pointing out? Here. This guy here, thirteen dollars. And again, if I see it labeled or if I know what type of plant it is, I'll definitely say something. Um, this to me looks like a calancho. I've never seen this variety before. Here's a different type of colancho. My mom has one in her kitchen on the island. And here's the kitty again. You're just following us wherever we go. Aren't you a cutie with your stub tail? Oh my. Oh, Grandma. It's giving me love. All of my black pants. Now you're gonna make Ebby jealous if I ever bring these pants unwashed to Vegas. I want to know what prices are for these guys because, ooh, six dollars. Yikes. Okay. Succulents here are very expensive. Six dollars. I can get this in Vegas for four dollars. So it looks like six dollar trays here. A string of bananas as the kitty comes by here. Price for 17. Grandma, the string of bananas is priced for 17. I, that is really expensive. All right, so $6 for 
these guys here in the four inches which is fairly expensive I wouldn't pay six dollars for something unless it's something rare like this guy I've never seen him before um, and this is a Calancho copper spoon never seen him before so like he might be worth buying and then also this too right here is a variegated jade so I have this guy in my collection it's a Cressula Ovada variegata and I got mine for eight dollars but it was super super big and there goes the kitty going out exploring here's yeah. another Calancho good <laughs> grandma you want the kitty to come back yeah. <laughs> no here's another probably good buy for six dollars if I was living here and trying to build my collection because there's multiple babies in here this is a Calancho so I see they have different different kinds so there's different Calanchos here even back here so they have a big Calancho variety grandma your kitty came back it's now hiding under here so we got different things out here an Opuntia for $15 and then little guys here so this is more reasonable $3.33 for these guys I would probably get one that has multiple babies and then make multiple babies out of that so $5.99 for these guys moon cactus for $6.99 now that to me is very expensive and this looks like an interesting variety of a Cressula and this guy here is priced for $30 all right grandma we are getting wet let's go inside and see what's going on in here well, how is Arizona treating you look at the hummingbird grandma do you see the hummingbird oh my gosh let me see if I can catch it on camera how cute I am loving this do you see it grandma yeah. oh my gosh it's showing off for me how cute are you gravitated thirds this monstera which is priced for 50 grandma this monstera is priced for 50 do you believe that George my guy is worth millions then <laughs> if that is priced for 50 this is an interesting guy here fiddly fig for $15 moving along look at these maiden hairs grandma we got some pots here I love checking out the pots and seeing prices Ooh, they got these big spider plants I want to know how much $40 for this big Hawaiian spider plant yikes they're stunning though but I would never pay 40 for it check out the Hawaiian spider plant it's priced for 40 <laughs> I know shopping for plants in Arizona I've noticed is very expensive my collection would not be what it is if I lived in Arizona I want to know how much is for this white planter Nineteen dollars. Nineteen. A plain white planter in here is nineteen dollars. Kinda curious to see how much a white planter from here would cost. Okay, this is more reasonable. Six ninety nine. But still, so small. And I love the different colors here. Grandma, what are you thinking about what we see so far in the prices? I know let's see here don't know the price of this guy just a regular standard spider plant what else do we have here a little snake plant grandma $13 for this snake plant 13 yikes I know grandma Here's a variation of snake plant for $7. Okay, fairly a little bit more reasonable. But um, these golden pothos go for $20. $20 for this golden pothos, Grandma. Yeah, you got it. I know. 
All right, Grandma, the prayer plant here. Price for 20. I got mine for $3 in Vegas. Isn't that crazy? My $3 yeah. plant is priced for 20. And this sad looking rubber plant is priced for 17. And this one is priced for 45. Do you believe that? 45 for this guy and he's all brown. And this um, Chinese evergreen is priced for 25. I'm sorry if I sound congested, but I'm trying to get over whatever I have. I have this guy here, priced for 25. It's in Severia, and there's the kitty over there. It's just following me. And then Lily's here go for. Wow, this guy is looking in bad shape for $11. This looks like to me an Prince Orange, Orange Prince Philodendron, Congo Rojo. And this one is $20. Ooh, wee. Not the best condition either. Yikes. Oh no, look at this, guys. They need to spruce up their houseplant collection. $7 for the, um, I believe this is a white jewel. Grandma, what do you think about the variety and the prices? $7 for this guy here. All right, so we go in there and there's some seeds and stuff, but what I'm mostly interested in is like the common houseplants, how expensive it is. $15 for a fern. Grandma, what are you thinking? <laughs> 15. Isn't that something else? <laughs> so expensive. Got bigger planters here. And I love looking at nurseries um, potting station. So I found one. Not as cutesy, but effective. And I'm kind of interested to see how much terracottas here cost. Wow, so a three inch terracotta here is priced for $2.99. And then this is $3.49, $5.99. And then like the nicer ones that's lipped is for $4.49 for this guy here. So, fairly expensive when it comes to terracottas even in here. I am so blessed to be able to get things for a very reasonable price where I live and where I shop. $10 for this, Grandma. So here is the outside of this nursery. So there's a lot of herbs and vegetables. And then I'll just give a little spin here so you can see kind of how big this nursery is. Grandma, what do you think so far about this nursery? Well, prices and variety. Expensive. Well, it's out of my pocket. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of the plants, Grandma, that I have in my collection, that's like three, four dollars, is yeah. priced for twenty dollars here. And a lot of the plants is not in really good condition. Um, so again, even the planters here are very expensive. So one thing I love doing, the come with me's, that's actually a nice planter. It's like a rustic planter. How much? Nine. Nine dollars. This is not that bad for nine dollars. This is a nice planter. I would get that for nine dollars. They have a bunch here, grandma, of that same style. Now, if I lived here, I can say for sure my collection would not be as big as what it is right now because it's so expensive to have plants in Arizona. Look at this $10 planter. This is really nice for $10. I like that shallow planter for, could do like a cactus or cactus garden, succulent or cactus garden. Now, it is raining. What do you think about us walking through this section? Probably not. No, because we're not combining. No. So we're not going to go in this section here because it is raining and it is not house plants. It's all like perennials and annuals and um, majority from what I can see they're annuals. So annuals are all in this section and then the vegetables are in there. But it's raining and I am 
apparently sick of something I have some kind of cold and um, but mainly I wanted to come in and just share with you guys the type of variety that they had for cactus succulents and houseplants along with but the different types of terracottas they do grandma says they have a big variety I agree um, but we're gonna wrap up this video here if you want to see more of grandma and I while she's here in Arizona definitely leave us a comment down below for my grandma and if you guys enjoy this come with me series give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new welcome you can find more on my blog at ilajulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha from mesa arizona bye